In order to be sure your BN20 is set up to get the most of its printing and cutting capabilities, we need to make some initial adjustments. To begin, click on the BN Utility icon located in your computer's task tray. In the Utility, open the Adjustment tab and click Adjust All. The first step is to make sure the ink is able to flow through all nozzles of the print head. Click Test Print and a pattern will be printed on the media. Take a moment to look over the pattern. Look for areas where the nozzles are not firing as seen in this example. If you find areas that could be improved, run a normal cleaning by clicking on the drop down menu below the test print button. Select Normal Cleaning and click Go. Perform another test print and check for improvement. If you still see areas that have missing nozzles on the test print, run an additional normal cleaning. If the problem persists, you can try moving up to a medium cleaning, but in most cases, the normal cleaning will be effective. Next, we want to move on to the bi-directional adjustment. Click Test Print and the test pattern will be printed. Several vertical lines will be printed across the scale. You are looking for the line that has the least amount of overlap. Once you've identified that line, enter the value listed underneath as the new value and this adjustment is complete. The next screen will be for the sheet feed adjustment. This is done to correct any feed direction offset. Click Test Print and a test pattern will be printed. You are looking for the area with the least amount of overlap as well as the least amount of space between the squares. Next, we need to set the cut force for the material we are going to be printing on. In our example, we are using a standard glossy calendared vinyl, which typically requires 70 grams of force. To be sure, we will perform a test cut. The test pattern will be a square cut inside of a circle. If the pressure is set correctly, you should be able to peel off each shape separately. If the cut shapes do not pull away independently, you will need to increase the force and run a second test. If you notice the blade has gone through both the top layer as well as the backer of the media, you will need to decrease the force and repeat the process until you achieve the desired cutting results. The next calibration will be the print and cut pattern. This test is vital to ensure your print and cutting matches up. Begin by clicking on the print and cut test button. The BN20 will print two black squares on the left and right side of the media. Return to origin and then perform a contour cut around the square. Check for any offset between the printed square and the cut placed around it. If you find it's offset, use the on-screen instructions for visual reference and enter the necessary new value for both scanning and feeding. Click Apply. You are now ready to perform the crop cut adjustment which follows the same process as the print and cut adjustment. Change any values as needed. Once you have verified the print and cut and crop cut offset has been corrected, you can continue on to install Roland VersaWorks. Insert the included VersaWorks software disk into your computer and click Run when prompted. Choose the appropriate language for the installation. The default is English. The Install Shield wizard will then guide you through the setup process. Your information can be entered under the username and organization, however, in most cases, this will be left as admin by default. You will be asked if you want to install the printer. By default, yes is selected and the name Roland VW is entered in the name field. Leave this information as is and click Next to continue. The program is now ready to install. Click the Install button to proceed. Please note that the time has been sped up in this video and the actual installation process may take several minutes. Once the installation wizard is complete, click Finish. Roland VersaWorks will open automatically. Under Printer Settings, choose USB and select the port in the drop-down menu. Click Verify and be sure VersaWorks recognizes your printer, then click Apply. 
you do not need to install the driver as this has already been done. Bursaworks is now installed and ready to use with your BN20 desktop printer. For additional educational videos on using Roland Bursaworks and the BN20, visit www.rolanddga.com forward slash Roland Academy. This completes your installation of the Versa Studio BN20 desktop printer.